Detroit girl. Hey guys, it's Jay and today I'm here with my May TBR for 2017. I have a total of five books that I'm going to try to get finished in the month of May. So without further ado, let us get started. So the first two books I've actually already talked about in one of my weekend reads videos, like last week. I believe, but I'll leave that link up there if you guys want to check out that video. But the first book is The Color Project by Sierra Abrams. I am about 200 pages into this book, so halfway done, and I am absolutely loving it. It is so cute and so fluffy. I haven't got into the part where it gets like sad, because apparently it's a sad book. But I'm loving it right now. It's super cute and fluffy. The book follows a girl named Bernice Aurora Westcott, and she has one thing that she doesn't want anybody to know. Her real name. Everybody in her life calls her B until she meets a boy named Levi who is very determined to figure out her name. Levi runs a charity called The Color Project, which basically helps less fortunate people fulfill their dreams. When B receives unexpected news that somebody in her family is ill, she needs to rely on Levi more than ever in order to be the backbone for her family. As I said, the book is super cute and fluffy right now. I haven't got into the illness part, so I'm assuming it's coming soon because I'm more than halfway through the book, but I would highly, highly suggest getting this book when it comes out. It's like, it's a good one. It's a good one. The next book is Who She Was by Stormy Smith. I'm pretty much done this book. I have like 70-ish pages left. The book follows a boy named Trevor Adler who loved music when he was younger, but now he doesn't really like it. The music is the one way he knows how to get away from his dysfunctional family, so he continues to play. He receives a full ride scholarship for music to a university. On the first night of their freshman year, Trevor's roommate Sam decides that they're going to go to a frat party and that is when he sees his old best friend Charlie. Charlie disappeared four years ago from his life and he is now determined to figure out why she disappeared and he's very persistent in trying to find out. The only thing is, Charlie is broken. She has a big secret that she's been hiding from everybody and she doesn't want Trevor to get anywhere near her. Trevor consistently pushes Charlie to try to figure out what happened to her four years ago and they become closer but when Trevor's secrets come out as well they realize together that they need to face their tragic past in order to be together. As I said I'm pretty much done this book. I'm really enjoying it. I'm going to have a full review up of it on my channel on May 4th. If you guys want to check it out I'll leave it up here when it's actually up. I want to hear my full thoughts. Come back on May 4th. The next book on my list is because my mother is forcing me to read it. Because I made her read radio. So it is The, the Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. She says I need to read it because I've said it so many times that I'm going to read it and then I never do. But apparently, apparently now I have to or I'm like banished from this family. All I really know about the book is that it's a traveling circus that shows up at night. But it's one of my mom's favorite books, so... I'm getting to it, mother. I'm getting to it. Next book I have on my TBR is actually from one of my viewers. So hi Brittany, how you doing? She asked me if I would want to read her book, so I said sure. And it is Overruled by Brittany Joy. Honestly, I'm actually really excited about it. The tagline sounds so cool. It's two girls, one kingdom, no way out. Like, kick ass females, that's all I'm saying. I'm so excited to read this book. I think it's gonna be awesome. And from the Goodreads page, it actually has a lot of good reviews, so I'm excited. And then my last book on my TBR is because I need to finish this dang series because it's been on my shelf forever. I've only read the first three books, so there's three left. Might as well just plow through them this summer. It is Blood Promise by Rochelle Mead. This is the fourth book in the Vampire Academy book. I just, I feel like I need to get them over with, so it's happening this month, hopefully, because they're shorter than the Mortal Instruments, so that's my excuse. The Mortal Instruments will happen eventually, just I don't know when. Alright guys, so that is my five books for my TBR. I'm hoping I'll probably finish them. I literally have nothing going on with my life now that school is over, so all I'm going to do is read. I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!